for your next fight, Patrick Tran. Patrick Tran, we go to our featherweight division in uh, Fury Amateurs. Fighting out of Houston, training out of USA Fight. Making his amateur debut is Patrick Tran. Looking really ripped here for a featherweight, looking good. Yeah, Patrick Tran, a, a big, strong featherweight. Um, and again, you know, this is one of those guys, this is a, a great test for Patrick Tran. He's a 19 years old, making his debut against a very, very tough Josh Thomas. We'll talk about him here in a second, but, you know, Patrick Tran at 5'6", at 145, carries a lot of muscle on that frame. And, you know, he's a Houston fighter. I haven't seen a single Houston fighter that's a pushover yet. So nope. you don't have much on this guy, it's zero and zero, but looking forward to seeing him make his debut. And you're probably wondering, man, Alex hasn't been talking that much. Well, it's because he's getting ready to coach Josh Thomas, who is uh, training out of Alex's gym. You worked out at yesterday, Grace by the Woodlands. Uh, yeah, and I'm feeling it today, for yeah. sure. <laughs> so that's why Alex hasn't been talking in the first fight or right now. You'll see him here in a second, but uh, a lot of uh, GB Woodlands guys today, so we'll be setting that up as we go along. Let's meet our next fighter. Here's Wayne Luggy. Please welcome to the red corner, Josh Thomas. Definitely know that's an Alex fighter just from the music. If it's heavy metal, it's Alex Morono. Oh, yeah. And uh, I'll tell you, like Raheel said, I went and trained at Gracie Baja Woodlands yesterday with Alex Morono and uh, a bunch of his black belts and uh, a few of his other guys. And, man, I'm just telling you that, you know, training with these MMA guys, you know, I, I fought MMA uh, a long, long time ago. and uh, But, you know, being a straight jiu-jitsu guy now, going and trying to, to train against these MMA guys that are black belts, they're so tough. Their position is always perfect, and especially being there with them having access to a current UFC welterweight who's doing great. Uh, you know, he's a, Alex Morono's a very, very high-level guy for the UFC, and, you know, to have access to, to guys like that, that training partners like that, and the expectation is as high for them as it is for Alex. Wow. And so, uh, you know, it's very, very good. Alex speaks really, really high about this guy. This guy, he thinks, is a guy to watch. All right, both guys are inside, so let's get our official introductions. Here's Wayne Leggett. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest brought to you by Private Label is scheduled for three rounds in the Fury Amateur Series Featherweight Division. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner. This mixed martial artist stands five feet, six inches tall, and he weighed in at 144.2 pounds. Fighting out of Houston, Texas. Today, he makes his amateur debut. This is Patrick Tran. And introducing his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. This freestyle fighter stands five feet, nine inches tall, and he weighed in at 144 pounds. Also fighting out of Houston, Texas, he holds an amateur record of one win, no losses. This is Josh Thomas. Your referee in charge, Patrick Petlon. Man, excited to see this fight. Featherweights going at it. By the way, the striking coach at GB The Woodlands, Matt Wald as well in the corner of Josh Thomas, one of the best striking coaches in Texas. And you see Josh Thomas, man, he just looks like a fighter. If you're walking down the street, you're like, yeah, that guy's a fighter. Yeah. He's got the haircut, he's got a chronic black eye. Did that Conor McGregor flex walking oh, around yeah. as well. He's got the uh, movements down. Ooh, Ooh. Big, strong slam there from. Oh, Suplex City. Wow. <laughs> he held on to him perfectly for a reset. Yeah, if I, was, if I was training, I would just stay on the ground. I was like, man, every time I get up, he keeps slamming me back down on my face. Josh Thomas is all over him. Man, I, I can't wait to see a replay of that because that was very technical. And he held on perfectly. Yeah, it looked like Patrick Trans had to drag Thomas to the ground there. Side control now for Thomas. Yeah, Thomas kind of trying to control him a little bit on here. Patrick Tran has got to be wondering, when does this pressure stop? 
Bad position here oh. for Patrick Tran. This is already under the chin. Both hooks in. Yeah, it's on push top of the chin forward. right now. Yeah, he needs to. He, Josh Thomas nope. just needs to to punish him right now with this position. Put it across his face. Let's get a neck crank going. Go right over the top of that wrist. Put that other hand behind the head. It's a little bit more difficult oh, with the gloves on. Oh, that's in tight now. That's very, very tight. This is going to be it. it. How about that? A first round tap for Josh Thomas. Well, I see why Alex is so high on this kid. What wow. a savage display of everything from Josh Thomas. That was some beautiful wrestling, great groundwork. Josh Thomas, have yourself a day, young man. Yeah, Josh Thomas said, I don't want to go Woo. past the first round. Look at man, that. What a big suplex. Oh, that was beautiful. Perfect form, never left the arch. Kept the hands tied. And here we go. This is the beginning of the end right here. He kind of exposed his back to him when he already had the top hook in. The bottom hook's the one you need, but he pulled him around, exposed him big, dump there. Once he got to the back and got this underneath, really, really difficult to fight that for very long. You see, he took one shot at the hand to try to pull that down. Nothing doing. Josh Thomas with the choke. All right, let's make this thing official. Here is Wayne Leggett. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes. One minute, 30 seconds into the very first round. Declaring a winner by tap out due to a rear naked choke. Josh Thomas! Congratulations, Josh Thomas. Second win in his young and amateur career. Sky high expectations now for the 21 year old because that was impressive. Another fighter that we'll circle and be on the lookout for. Yeah, gonna be difficult for him to find a fight, I have a feeling, from now on. Savage performance.